Welcome, Forts fans, to the first in a series of battle replays. I'm here with Tim Ald, co-founder of Earthwork Games and programmer on Forts. Hello there. Also, Lee May of Zed Games. Hey, hey. And Ray Morgan, also of Zed Games. Hello. And I am Nick Smith, co-founder of Earthwork Games and artist. Okay, so we are playing Forts by Earthwork Games. We're in the middle of a battle between Nick and Tim. Now, in case you've just joined us, Nick dealt Tim a disastrously blow. Is that a word? No, but you a terrible blow. <laughs> Nick did take Tim's head off. He took the top yeah. off my foot with a huge laser. So, so we're all like rooting for Nick now because it looks like he's going to win. Although look at these missiles. That was a nice return strike. Yeah, yeah. Once once you lose your sniper, you can't shoot the missiles. So the first thing I did there was rebuild my sniper, but my my uh, energy economy has been smashed as well, so I have to rebuild my turbine so I can shoot my missiles. Conversely, the first thing I should have done there was kill that new sniper, which I didn't do, which allowed him to fire the missile, um, and I just sort of burnt the front of his fort, which as you can see, he's protected quite well with uh, double layers of bracing and armor, as well as sandbags, um, which is gonna absorb a lot of the blow. Yeah. So I'm now trying to take out his turbines because the laser needs them to recharge. So I'm just trying to slow him down a bit. Yeah, so he was shooting down the, the missiles there. So his laser is impotent now without the turbines? He might have saved some energy from before they were destroyed in the batteries, so he still may be able to shoot the laser. Yeah, it's um, at this stage, probably I will use that energy up though, building and rebuilding my economy as opposed to just depleting it with a laser. Although, no, turns out I decided to fire the laser anyway. And oh, nice. I missed. <laughs> wow. If, if um, you had destroyed his tower, that would have been an amazing shot. I know, right? I was, I was about five minutes behind there. <laughs> so Is this corner still good? Yeah, yeah, far away. What's the cooldown on that laser? Because it's very powerful. Uh, I'm not exactly sure the, uh, the exact stats to it, but... 20, 25 seconds or so. Mm. Uh, so I, uh, you might have noticed I've built an upgrade center there, so... So Tim, what do you do here to recover from this? What are you, what are you doing right now? Uh, well, it's damage control initially, but I have built a shield uh, just below my reactor there, so that will actually reflect the laser back at him with any luck. Uh, it does require quite a bit of power to run though. Mm. So you're probably not going to be running your own laser while you've got that shield going. No, no. You, you tend to um, yeah, try to expand your uh, energy production to compensate for the extra usage. But... Uh, oh, there Ooh. So that alarm you can hear in the background is what you hear when your fort takes, uh, your reactor takes direct damage uh, to make sure that you are uh, very aware of your current crisis. So does your opponent hear that sound as well? No, it's it's just for the, <laughs> just for the player. That's just for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got to keep them guessing. Don't tell anybody, but you're in a bit of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one thing that we should point out, which is that while we can see the inside of both forts when you're playing the uh, your opponent has no idea what's going on if there's no open door that's correct absolutely I mean you can peek you know, when you create damage in the fort they create holes uh, Swiss cheese style in, into the, the cladding um, and that uh, gives you a bit of an idea but as you can see I've just built and fired a um, cannon uh, which didn't do much unfortunately that first shot it can be a bit hit and miss the cannon it's it's quite powerful but uh yeah a, a sandbag will take most of the damage so i see you're firing your machine gun but it's seemingly doing nothing is that a strategy <laughs> or <laughs> uh it's just out of frustration at uh, this point i think yeah fair enough uh at that point i hit his um energy shield my cannon and explosive weapons have uh benefit of deactivating the energy shield um Aha. so and then the following up shot was with laser which hit the exact same point but unfortunately his um, trusty sandbags got in the way once more well actually i think you ran out of 
energy there. Oh. The, the laser just cut short because you didn't have the power. So basically, you can, you can fire. Um, there's a sort of ra energy range which you can fire a laser with. And it'll basically run out once you use up your energy. Ooh. Uh, there goes Tim's economy once more. <laughs> Mine's just about staying afloat. Repair the two yeah. uh, the two turbines up there and add a third one because both uh, the cannon and the laser are really thirsty on energy. Mm -hmm. So what I should be doing here is upgrading one of my missiles. Uh, which will deliver a single payload which is much more powerful than the swarm missiles. That guy again. Oof. <laughs> really had it in for that guy. Right on the nose. Uh, so that was to take out the sniper, as yeah. we were explaining earlier, uh, which many can't fire his missiles. Things are looking very wobbly there on both sides at this point, actually. So your initial attempt at, at nice straight lines has sort of gone out the window. Yeah, there is a grid, and <laughs> you, you start off with the best of intentions, but uh, in the heat of battle, things yeah. do go a bit wonky. Mike Tyson once said, everyone's got a plan until you punch it in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much how it goes, actually. Yeah. You do start listing in this game, and you, you try and repair stuff as fast as you can, and you end up with a yeah. bit of a crooked fort a lot of time. We've had some funny situations where a fort has fallen over quite substantially, and then a second actually corrects it. Oh. oh, wow. That would have been really cool if that happened. <laughs> I bet I was, the, vi I was the viewers would have loved to have seen what that missile did. <laughs> that was heartless, Nick. I seemed to be uh, you know, on top of my game and foresaw this threat <laughs> and used my laser more of a shield um, and just to block those projectiles out of the sky. I guess people are going to have to buy the game to find out what that missile does. Oh, there's the other side of the, the <laughs> coin, unfortunately. <laughs> Take that blade of grass. There was a poisonous snake that you... Uh... I saved him. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. right, here I am going for his turbines again. Oh. Wow! Oh. So the laser can destroy the missiles as well. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's it, it is a very expensive uh, form of uh, defense. Though. Yeah, I mean, you know, it cost him. I mean, you know, it cost him I don't know, a few thousand energy to fire it, and then it cost me probably more to defend myself with the laser beam. So you know, you have to you have to weigh it up. And that time it wasn't as much use because it's only a swarm. Whereas the first time it had the warhead in there as well, so definitely worthwhile the first time. I right, see so you've got your turbines protected now. Uh, yeah, so they're behind uh, cladding. They've got background bracing around them, which allows the airflow to go through. Um, uh, it means you can sort of hide it and also build on top on top of them, as opposed to just having them exposed the whole time, which is uh, a design decision made a while back. Oh, Ooh, devastating blow! Uh, Wait, something on. cool could happen here. Oh. Oh. So that's the end of part two of the game replay of Forts. Come back for part three when we find the exciting conclusion of this battle. <laughs>